247 News Flash now for some news update for today. Togbe Afedi 14 has defended his rejection of over 365,000 as Gosha paid him as a Council of State member between 2017 and 2020. Togbe Afedi 14 in a statement said, I do not think the payment was made to trap me as has been speculated. I believe it was paid to everybody who served on the Council of State. According to him, taking an extra payment was inappropriate for a short, effectively, but time work for which he received not only a monthly salary but also was entitled to other privileges. The Jojo District Police Command has begun investigation into a shooting incident on Monday that led to the death of a 33-year-old woman. The deceased, a cause baby to Nui from Avedakba Akachi North, died from gunshot wounds inflicted on her by an unknown person at Jojo in the Ketu North Municipality. According to the District Police Commander Superintendent Christian Dogbache, the victim was rushed to St. Anthony. Anthony Hospital for treatment when her attackers shot her but passed away later. Meanwhile, the police have launched investigation into the matter. The United Nations Children's Fund Ghana in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, the Ghana Education Service and the Center for National Distance Learning and Open Schooling is working to get more than 35,000 schools in the country connected to the internet. In this regard, it is currently mapping the geolocations of the schools and assessing the extent to which they could be connected. Commemorating Food Safety Day today on the theme Safer Food, Better Health, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research stands with the UN and relevant government agencies to spread the importance of food safety. According to WHO, in 2010, consumption of contaminated food and water accounted for more than 600 million cases of foodborne disease, approximately 1 in 10 people and billions of dollars are lost each year in productivity and medical expenses resulting from unsafe foods in low and middle income countries including Ghana. In business news, the Bank of Ghana's drive to have all accounts validated and linked to Ghana cards continues to enjoy support from commercial banks in Ghana. A significant number of banks have undertaken heavy publicity campaigns to get their customers linked their cards. A few others, including the Universal Merchants Bank, a leading indigenous Ghanaian bank, have outdoored online platforms that allow customers to link their Ghana cards to their accounts online without having to go to their branch. The Bank of Ghana has set the 1st of July 2022 as the deadline for all bank accounts in Ghana to be linked to Ghana cards, a strategy to make the Ghana card a primary ID in the country. Solo Oil has confirmed its measure with Capricorn Energy, a fellow British oil and gas company that offers the combined entity oil reserves in excess of a billion barrels across multiple countries in Africa. In an official statement release, both parties expressed their excitement about the new partnership deal. Under the terms of the combination, each Capricorn shareholder will be entitled to receive 3.8068 which allows Capricorn shareholders to have approximately 47% of the combined group while still oil shareholders will hold approximately 53%. On the global front, a two-year-old boy has shot and killed the father in a bizarre manner when he accidentally tampered with a loaded gun in the early hours of Tuesday in Florida. Reggie Marbury, 26, and the 
wife had previously been convicted for various offenses prior to the unfortunate incident. According to the state official report, the gun was left unattended to while the boy was playing around. The child's mother, Marie Ayala, was conducting cardiopulmonary resuscitation on her husband, Reggie Marie, when the police officers arrived at the victim's house near Orlando. Mali's military rulers have proposed the restoration of civilian rule in two years following an August 2022 coup and a failure to meet an earlier deadline for election that led to crumpling sanctions. Military leader Keno Asimi Goita signed a decree read out on state television on Monday saying that the duration of the transition is fixed at 24 months from March 26, 2022. In sports news, Asante Kotoko goalkeeper Ibrahim Danlad has turned down a late Black Stars call-up for the Four Nation Tournament in Japan this month. The lad was handed a call up to replace injured Richard Ofori for the 2022 Kirin Cup. Ofori sustained a hamstring injury during the Black Stars training ahead of the Central African Republic game. Athletic Balbo Du, Inaki Williams and Nico Williams have arrived in Ghana for holiday aimed widespread reports of switching nationality to Ghana. The two brothers are being courted by the Ghana Football Association ahead of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Inaki Williams is eligible to play for Ghana despite making a single appearance for the Spanish national team. Reigning High Life Musician of the Year Kofi Kinata broke down into tears during a performance. The Takadi artist was thrilling fans with his songs in a live band session at an event believed to be a funeral tense given when he got emotional seeing how his fans were filming him and singing his new hit song Die Grace word for word. The things fall apart hit maker could not control himself but broke down into tears one would describe as tears of joy. Gospel artist Joe Metal has disclosed he almost declined submissions for entries into the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards some time back. According to him, the decision was to allow others to get the opportunity to have the VGMA experience after winning the prestigious Artist of the Year Award in 2017. His award for the Artist of the Year was considered historical as he was the first gospel artist to win in his category since the conception of these awards. This is all for today's news update on 247 News.